Hi everybody. I decided to make a short video about some new information that I discovered about the Zodiac case. Now I'm not sure exactly how new this information is because I don't have access to Tom Voigt's old message boards from 1998 until the time that he put up his latest message board, but uh, I searched the current message board and I did not find anything on this information. So this may be new information and it was really shocking to me. Uh, I've decided to start watching Perry Mason episodes, mainly because my grandmother used to watch them, and I uh, just wanted to see what she used to watch back in the late 50s and early 60s. And I was watching an episode, and it like stopped me in my tracks. It made my jaw drop. Uh, it was Season 2, Episode 6, The Case of the Fraudulent Photo, and photo is spelled F-O-T-O, -O. so The Case of the Fraudulent Photo. And in it, there's a guy who's invited over to a woman's house, and she's allegedly going to give him some information about some scandal that's going on. All of a sudden, this photographer bursts in with a big camera and starts taking pictures of them as they were sitting together on a love seat. And he ends up doctoring the photo to make it look like the guy was kissing the girl in order to blackmail him. This immediately brought to mind Peekaboo Pennington and the things that he used to do. So uh, this was the first amazing thing that I discovered. Then I was watching another episode, season 4, episode 16, called The Case of the Waylaid Wolf. And in the beginning of this episode, a male worker at a, at a company has an interest, apparently, in a secretary there. So he gets her to stay late to work on some documentation. And while she's working, you see him with the hood of her car open, fumbling around. He really can't see what he's doing. He takes something out, and he opens up her door, puts it in the glove compartment, and closes the car door and closes the hood. Then he walks into the building. Later on, you see the lady trying to start her car, and she's turning and turning and turning the engine, turning, 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 and won't start. So all of a sudden, this guy shows up at her window and says, Hey, you having trouble with your car? Maybe I can help you. And uh, he says it's kind of... Uh, I don't know, um, damp out tonight, so maybe the car's having some trouble. So he, she opens the hood, and he stands there and looks at her as she continues to turn the starter. And then he says, uh, you know, it's not going to start. It's not getting any spark, so st stop turning your starter because you're going to run down your battery. Then he offers her a ride home. So this immediately made me think of the Bates case. And both of these episodes aired, the, the, the one about the Waylaid Wolf aired in 1961, that was season four, so the one about Pennington would have aired in season two, that would have been about 1959, so both of these long predate any relationship to the Zodiac case. And um, to me, the, the case of the Waylaid Wolf is essentially a blueprint of what Zodiac, what, I'm sorry, what the, the murder of Sherry Jo Bates, whether it was Zodiac or not would do to Bates five years later. Now, in the case of the Waylaid Wolf, it turns out that the guy had taken her rotor out of her distributor cap, which is a little, more, a little bit more sophisticated than what Zodiac did. Zodiac just pulled the, uh, pulled the wire from the distributor to the condenser or the coil or whatever it is. This would have actually required, taking out the rotor would have required taking off the distributor cap, pulling the rotor off, and putting the cap back on. Now, it would have been impossible for someone just looking at the engine to tell there was anything wrong with it. If someone knew something about engines in the Bates case, if, like if Sherry Jo knew something about engines, she'd be able to possibly see that the wire was pulled or missing from her distributor cap. But this would have been a more sophisticated, although you know, a more comp complicated way to disable a car. But at any rate, just the whole concept of that encounter between the guy and the, and the, and the woman was very reminiscent of the Bates case. And I think it, that this episode from Perry Mason should deserve considerable uh, consideration when you're looking at the root of Zodiac's behavior on the night of the Bates murder in 1966. Okay, that's it. Thank you.